guys, Pixie here and welcome back to my channel! Today we are back finally for part 2 of my Smurfs Village build that I did last week and I wasn't able to upload the video until now. Hopefully you guys won't mind that. But this time around we are finishing up with the build by um, furnishing all of the the mushroom houses that I built on the channel so as you can see right now there are a lot of bu builds there are a lot of rooms that I had to furnish that had to take up a lot of time but hopefully you guys won't mind so without further ado let's get to building so right now we are furnishing the first part every the first part or I mean the first house <laughs> um, every um, mushroom house has a different style to it or not really style a different color to it because every house has the very colorful bohemian style to it although there is i think there is one house that is not but basically um all of the houses were um focused or designed around the chair that we had from the movie hangout stuff back which I really did enjoy using because if you guys watched my other videos, like my very very old videos, you will see that I never really tried using those furniture just because it's very colorful and with my um, style of building or furnishing, I tend to go with modern styles which sometimes just focus on two to three colors, not that very colorful type of um, um, decorating so this was new to me but I really did enjoy it it really um, blends well with the outdoor area of the build well especially because this build is a, um, a village and I think at some point later on well I did upload it as a residential lot but if you guys watched the first part you will know that um, I didn't really put it as a residential lot if you guys noticed at the upper left corner during the speed build. I didn't really change it to residential lot just because at first I was planning to make it a park but then decided to make it a residential house just because of the mushroom houses so that it would be functional. So um, this build, um, since you guys already know how many houses this has, um, not all of the structures ha uh, har <laughs> are um, um, houses. Um, there are in total one, two, three, four, five, five small mushroom houses that are this size. Um, and then there are two bigger mushroom houses, which you guys can see up front, the two ones that are on a different level. And then the bigger one, is a venue so if you guys watched my first video you will know that one mushroom house it's not really a mushroom house it's like a gond not gondola pavilion type <laughs> is a wedding venue so i decided to make the bigger mushroom house as a um the dining area which has a bathroom and stuff like a res reception area but then it's not really that um, fancy i don't really know how to furnish that area just because the shape of it was very awkward to furnish so i was only able to fit in one two three four five um five chairs or i mean five tables with different number of chairs around it and then um there is a kitchen downstairs like a basement kitchen which has three grills or three cooking areas um a wine cellar well it's not really called a cellar like it's like I don't know. <laughs> it's just like a wine room and then there is a pantry it's a big a big it's a bit big compared to my other um other restaurant type builds just because i imagined it to be a very busy kitchen so there would be a need of a lot of wines a lot of food a lot of cooking areas and stuff like that and then 
um, the washing area is a bit separate from the cooking area just because I made the um, the kitchen area elongated just because I wanted to have a little bit of a connection with the main floor or main level of the build which is where the mushroom area or mushroom area <laughs> mushroom houses are so I decided to connect the kitchen all the way to the pool so that there would still be a tinge bit of natural light going into the washing area not really the kitchen because the kitchen is a bit far from that part but um, it worked and I really did like it although I did put a lot of clutter in that build just because I um, it was in the basement so I really wanted to add a lot of ventilation a lot of pipes although I did forget to put the ventilation thing oh well <laughs> I hope you guys won't mind but this build unfortunately I forgot to um, add a grill to the build I think it's because I focused more on the furnishing of the um, houses and I forgot to add that to the build and I don't know why especially because I mean there is an area of the, the build that is specifically for hanging out so I I don't know why I forgot the grill I think it's because I built a, a I built a outdoor um, outdoor diner the one in between the big waterfalls and stuff like that but anyways Hopefully you guys are still enjoying the build. Um, we're almost... Oh, we're halfway there. Um, the build was so fun to do, although there were a lot of adjusting items as you guys might have seen earlier. Where it... Oh wait, did I cut that out? I forgot. Anyways, there were a lot of adjusting parts just because of um, the rocks that are poking through the walls and stuff like that. But. Thankfully, it was easy to um, fix. And then, what else? Oh, if you guys are wondering why um, this build was delayed, the reason behind that was um, if you guys follow me on my other social media accounts, you will know that we went down to Mandela last week or last weekend. And then I didn't really have that much time to work on it part two so it got delayed and hopefully you guys won't mind but if you're new to my channel and you still don't follow me on my other social media accounts wherein i share a lot of important details about what happens with my life or what happens with my channel um go ahead and check them out if you guys would want to check them out my links will pop up right now there you go <laughs> you can follow me on facebook twitter instagram pinterest and of course on the sims 4 gallery and on origin everything is the um on my other social media accounts everything is the same um the only difference like everything is pixie place but the only difference around it is that some of them have capital p's and some of them don't that's why i tend to always 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 um, put my links up on every um, video that i upload so that you guys will be informed anyways um we are like a third away from ending this video i think well it's weird that i say i think especially when i can see what part i am already like oh gosh I don't know what else I am talking about. Anyways, um, since I don't really um, see what I am, um, what part we are already, because for some reason my premiere froze, like the video froze, but then it's the the video is still going, but the image stopped at like around a three minute image. Oh gosh, I can't make you see. I like. Uh. <laughs> Anyways, so um, I think at this part we are um, furnishing either the the last bigger mushroom resident resident residence or the one next to the farm. I'm not really sure which one, but hopefully I guessed right. Um. Anyways, um, hopefully you guys are liking how I decorated the 
mushroom houses. Hopefully, it um it was fun to watch or it was very cute to watch just because of the color schemes and stuff like that. Um, I focused or again the main oops the main um item for how I furnished all of the houses were of course the chairs or the sofa. But then one more thing that affected the color scheme for each mushroom was the doors. As you guys might have already noticed, all of the doors are different colors. Just because I wanted it to look more colorful and stuff like that. Although I'm not really sure if that's how it looked in the movie. And I'm not really sure of um, the personalities of the Smurfs. That's why I didn't really put any um, thing that might relate to the Smurf characters. I'm so sorry about that. It's just because I didn't really have the time to finish a Smurf movie. I don't know why. But hopefully you guys still enjoyed the video or the concept that I had for the village. Um, I think some of you guys won't mind it as long as there are mushroom houses anyways. But I think I will end my commentary here just because I don't really know what else to talk to you guys about. But if you guys enjoyed the video, pitch that like button down below. If you have any comments, suggestions, opinions, or just about anything that you guys want to share with us here on my channel, I would really... Um, appreciate it if you guys could comment down below don't be afraid because i do enjoy reading your comments and stuff like that and it's just one way of me um it's just one way for me to communicate more with you guys and of course if you are new to my channel i would really 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 appreciate it if you guys could subscribe because i built this channel to share my creations to you guys not only to the sims community but of course also to those who are interested in my videos and my random videos like crest and in hopes to give you your sims and my other audiences love joy and happiness again thank you thank you thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you didn't mind my random rambling of other things around or whilst um watching the video i hope you guys enjoyed i love you all and i will see you on my next video bye